Hey guys, enter the stars, and thanks for hanging in there with me. Listen, this isn't something I'm trying to force on you. I'm simply proposing information. So there's no need to get upset. You guys are all still my friends. I love each and every one of you. And this is something you have to pray on to see if you can find the truth. Okay? I'm here to talk you through it. But the more I dig into this, the more I start to believe that this is the case. Thank you, PJ Mack, my sister in Christ. She asked me for some scriptures on this. And I recommend this video, The Firmament of Heaven. It is a 41-minute video. There's no music or anything. It's all scriptures showing how the Bible can justify a flat earth. And again, it's up to you to pray and to see if these scriptures resonate. But when you put them all together in the entire Bible, uh, probably a hundred scriptures, uh, it, it very much proved something that you're going to have to come to a truth of yourself. A lot of thumbs up on this video, no thumbs down. And uh, this is something everybody needs to see. Now, I did my own thought experiment again. This is you standing on the equator. We're told that the night sky, or we see it for ourselves, the stars run vertically. And when we look here to the right, to the North Pole star, they run clockwise. We look to the left pole star, they run counterclockwise. Now this happens over the course of the entire evening. Some of these uh, time-lapse photographies are taken probably several nights pieced together. The stars will not spin like that. And I give you an example here. Now the stars are billions of miles away. But we can all agree that what we were taught in chemistry and physics is that some stars are much closer than others. They don't all exist on one plane. So if I'm standing in the middle and I'm looking up at this star that's a million miles away and I look up at this star that's five billion miles away, there should be stars that are so far away looking at this North Pole star. They should be so far away that they should just appear to be going slower than the other stars that are closer, much closer to the Earth. In other words, we're going to perceive this as a change of speed. Not all of the stars speeding together in unison, as we see in the North Pole Star images that we see online and in real life. You can go time lapse for photography and you'll see all the stars moving together. But that should not be the case. And instead of stars moving at different speeds because of their distance away from us, this is what we see in the night sky. We see all the stars moving together which says they're all at the same exact distance away from us in other words it's reflected on a surface because even though you're looking at a star that looks like it's in the same spot it could be a billion times further away than the star in front of it so the star that's a billion times further away should theoretically take longer to move because it's on a wider circuit. Does that make sense? So here you can see, you look to this direction, this star is much closer. You look this direction, this star is much further away. It's going to look the same distance as this star because you're looking at the perspective okay this one's gonna look the same distance as a star that's much further away as you look at this perspective here okay in the sky it's gonna look the same right follow me on this you're looking this way that star looks the same distance as this star looks because this star is simply further away. Move it way out here if we need to. 
want to get a good good feel for this they're both on the same axis see the axis goes through the middle here's our star this is just a central focal point okay doesn't matter how close or how far away apparently the whole universe as we spin our perspective is around the single star so this this star looks the same distance as this star even though this one's 500 times further away okay so when you're looking at this star in, as the earth rotates shouldn't it be rotating much slower than this star do you now understand what I'm saying the star closer to you will appear to rotate faster than the star further away and we're talking huge distances so what we should see is a cascade of stars cascading around in circles not perfectly distributed and even which suggests that they're on a finite canopy so we're driving in a car here's the stars that are three million miles away here's the stars that are 100 billion miles away the stars closest to us should be appearing to go faster than the stars that are further away from us and even though that mountain looks like it's the same distance as this tree as it passes before it it's much further away so even though you see a ring of stars they could be much further from one another and this is a great example imagine this car is the earth spinning through the road around the planet imagine this car is just driving in a circle it's the same thing but yet this bug on the side of the road appears to be passing you much faster than the mountain off in the distance see that this is moving much faster than that why don't we see that in the night sky why do all the stars move together in unison because they're all in a canopy of stars just as the ancient egyptian deities said they were the problem was is they tried to take credit for that knowledge and tried to say they were the gods this is why God is a jealous God it's for our own good because the people that are lying to us want to kill us and sacrifice us and God doesn't that's why he wants us to worship him because we're safe with him it's like a mother being safe her child knows where to go to be safe with the mother you don't want to go to the stepmom because she's bad and she might hurt you even though she might pretend like she's nice even though she raised you the real mother is the true mother she loves you she gave birth to you carried you for nine months that's what we're dealing with here you guys this is the truth I believe it in my heart why would the stars that are closer to us move at the same exact speed as the mountains and stars much further away right here good example I don't know if someone can explain that. So you ask yourself, why does that not look like this? And I'll explain it to you. Because literally, there is in fact, as the Bible says, a canopy of stars. The Bible actually is telling the truth. There is a canopy of stars. They're all on one level, and they're projected, just as I showed you in the diagram. Projected against the backdrop of the inner eye of God. Here's the vertical movement of the stars. I'll demonstrate this to you guys here. Here's looking east. Stars go up in the sky. Okay? This is a good demonstration and then over here in the south I guess there's a pole star in the south they move clockwise do you see how they all move together because they're they're almost infinitely distant from one another they should not all be moving on a sheet like this Do you see now I'm sure some physicists will come up with something to say about this but this is common sense talking here these are on a sheet 
It's like a hamster in a hamster ball, okay? And imagine painting all these black dots on it. Now, when that hamster moves, he runs around in his hamster ball all around the carpet. He's going to see this in the sky. But only because those dots are painted on the outside glass of his hamster ball. If those dots are every which way, and some of the dots are, let's say some of the dots are hamster ball inside the beach ball, he's going to see something completely different. So the sky is going to look a chocolate mess, no pun intended. That's what we're dealing with here, you guys. There's no logical explanation for this. Unless the scientists all of a sudden say all the stars are on one sheet, which uh, they've been known to change their story quite a few times. Anyway, do this thought experiment for yourself. Take care and be safe, you guys.